So I realize there's been a fuck ton of changes. And I know you've changed a lot as well. And um, communication and trust issues. And I don't know. I don't know what more I can do. I don't often. I don't know what more I can do to show you that I am. Um, that I've been wanting to be more transparent with you. And let you know exactly what's going on. And bring you back into being a big part of my life. The issue with what's happening is not only is there no trust in like what I was telling you is I just want to be able to free fall with you for a little bit and everything will make sense. But there's a constant state of friction. There's this constant state. Absolutely anything I do has to be an issue, whether it's something you don't know about, whether it's me being a little busy, whether it's me being on the phone, everything is an issue. Even when we fucking tow the way I did something is wrong. Like every, everything, everything has to be an issue. I went ahead and told you a couple of things yesterday and I've told you things before you left and you still seem to not understand what I'm doing. And that element of always, always having doubt and constantly being in a state of like anger for some reason towards me isn't, isn't doing, isn't, it's not, it's not doing it for me. I, I can't be around that. The way you've been approaching things Granted, I, I probably haven't been doing the best job either, but at least I stuck by what I said months ago and I always have your back, whether we're together or not. And I feel like with this new change, with the retreat you've been on, everything that's been happening, you've come back angry towards me for some reason, for trying to make a difference in my life, for trying to grow, for trying to do stuff and get out of the fucking routine, for trying to build something. It's not that you're trying to build something, it's that you're... You've made your decision very clear. And what decision is that? Well, you fucked off everybody that you were friends with before, and you've made these new friends, and fuck everything else that you were doing before, and ev everybody else you were hanging out with before. You've got all your own new shit going on. Everybody has their own shit going on. Junior has his own shit going on. Todd is a fucking cop. I barely see him. First is a, the press secretary. Everybody's uh -huh. got their own shit going on. Who have I fucked off? Me? I told you to trust me. I want you to be there with me. I told you, you've been gone. Shit has gone down. I've been building. I you told haven't you been that. building, you've built. Okay. And then I've built while you've been gone. And I needed you to trust me for a second, like I've said repeatedly, to be able I've to- I've trusted you with everything, okay? Every business idea that you've come up with, everything I have supported the best I fucking can. Every business idea, I've been there, I've been trying to help, I've been trying to expand, I've been trying to add my own bit to it. You fucked that off completely, and now you've built a whole new thing. With no words towards me about it. The podcast is still the podcast. It's still, it's still not the pod, Not just the fucking podcast, I've got nothing to do with that anyway. Then what are you talking about? The whole, like, news thing and everything. It's still there, but nobody no, else is. No, it's not. Nobody else is there. Ursula. I was. Ur Ursula's not working. Yeah, NPC News is still yours. I don't know why putting the sign up changes things. NPC News is still yours. The podcast is still there. Our two things are still working. We just yeah, have to fucking do them. As separate things. I've done the podcast. I released an episode four days ago. Yeah, which I have nothing to do with. Again, this is what I'm saying. I don't. I, I don't. I, that's not making sense to me. I don't understand. So that's what is the problem. it you want? You don't understand. You don't see it from. You don't see past your end, the end of your own nose a lot of the time. And then you get mad at me for being angry at you because we had a whole plan of like, oh, we're going to get a business license for this and then have a whole umbrella company that could have kept expanding outwards. And now your main thing is you and your new friends have got this fucking shop. Yes, I have a separate venture from the media stuff that is a... No, there isn't a separate shop. venture. There's a main venture. Let's not pretend you can only have one business license. Your business license now is this. First of all, you can't have any business licenses because the government doesn't uh, uh, permit them yet. But I still do the media stuff, so I don't understand. If I'm not slacking on things, I'm just adding things to my free time. How is that? You don't have any free time, Johnny. Yes, because I'm building things. Built. Okay, because I've built things and want to expand them. I've always done that. You're not doing this for you. You're doing this for your new friends. You know that, right? Are you serious? Yeah. You didn't want to keep up with the food stall, but now you run a whole store. Wait, how does How's that, that make sense? How, how, how is that an issue? If I am able to expand because there are people that see the vision just as much as I do, 
The food stall was a pain in the fucking ass when we did it. Okay, and now you're trying to run a food food stall and a convenience store and launder money and do the podcast, but the food stall on its own was too much of a fucking pain in the ass. It was back really? then. Yes, it was. It's not more of a pain in the ass now that you have to farm and shit as well. I don't have to do it. That there's a there's a team of people. Yeah, you new friends. Yeah, exactly. The, a team of people working together to be able so to rather build than stuff build bigger your own than team, one person. You made new friends and are doing everything with them. And I wanted you in there and I told you to just fucking trust me to be able to build shit like the, the stuff that you want to do with the support is needed to have a bit of a bigger foundation to stand on than our fucking sticks that we were trying to balance over. Well, that's nice for you, but I'm still on my sticks. And you seem like you don't want to <laughs> jump over to my platform. Jump over to your platform of what? I don't even know what you're stood on at this point. Exactly. I told you to fucking just wait. How long? Huh? I've been waiting since such I got here for you Thank to you, tell Nunu. me things and you constantly keep doing things behind my back and being like, trust me, wait, how long is that going to be that I have to keep waiting? It's been a couple of fucking days. I told you to just, if, if, if you trust you me, you're not going to be questioning and became, it. And became a gang member. I knew nothing about that. That was before I went. So don't even say that. You were hanging out with people and doing stuff for them that I had no clue about. I'm still doing it was like I a always... week before you told me what it was at the end of the rainbow i'm still doing what i always do i'm building business i'm making connections i'm i'm doing what i've always done it's just at a slightly larger scale the slightly larger scales means support support from good people that see my vision too is an incredible tool to have the fact that you don't see it that way and you just i see, don't know these people how am i supposed to see you it know that me way? I don't and you're know supposed to people. trust me I'm asking you to trust me, and that's what I was talking about. You and me. Trust is like a two-way thing. You have to give something back to get trust. You know that, right? You can't just blindly be like, oh, trust me. You can't blindfold someone and try and take them through a landmine field and just be like, okay, trust me, without you showing them that they, you can guide them. That's just like saying, trust me to let you through this landmine field, standing at the other side and just shouting left and right every now and again. I thought everything we had kind of bridged that gap just to hold us over during this time where I'm a little busier than usual and might not be able to tell you absolutely everything right away. You're, you're, there's, it, you're never going to be able to just tell me everything. You've never told me just everything ever. I've always stood back, supported you, trusted you with everything to lead the way and I've followed and I've helped the best I fucking can. Even now taking pictures of food for you and shit, you know? But that's not good enough to just want to know more and to want to know what the fuck is going on rather than being blindsided by, oh, by the way, Johnny's hanging out with a load of British people. Oh, by the way, Johnny's money laundering for a load of British people. Well, before you left, I tried to have a conversation with you and tell you as much as I possibly could, but you said that it, it was a little too much, maybe? Because you gave me like a month's worth of information in 30 seconds and expected me to understand that you've been doing X, Y, and Z, but with, again, minimal information. Again, it's like standing at the other side of a landmine field. I've been, I've been trying. I've been trying to tell you. I've been, there's a, there's a lot to unpack. That's why I kept saying, if you trust me, then it would be, we could do this together. Also, should we not be concerned about him? Out. No, he's okay. But then again, just now you said, I've always done this. I've always hidden things. I've always done, when I, I haven't, I, all I've been doing is trying to benefit and better our situation. When anything happens, I say ours. When anyone asks, I say we. Had you in my life and in my goals, regardless of what I'm doing. And I know that you don't necessarily see it that way. And I know that you're proud of everything that you've done on your own. But everything I'm trying to do and everything I've ever done is always to pick our shit up and hopefully better our lives and achieve everything that we've, we've wanted. I may be rough around the edges. I may have told you a month's worth of information without taking a breath, but I've never ever done it to hurt you or harm you in any way. And I feel like all I got in return is you completely changed. And I it took a second to accept all the changes that you, you've <laughs> come back with, but completely angry towards me as well, whether it was this or anything else. I haven't just come back angry at you. And you say it's like for us and stuff, but how can it be for us if I know nothing? If I knew nothing of what you were gonna do? trust that's you don't me. trust me you think you uh, you don't think i trust you no you literally in the car on the way here were like well you said that you were in the car with me and you were talking about gangsters running the pizza shop like you literally on the way to this conversation said about that yeah that me. was stupid 
That yeah. was a stupid thing to do. To Oh, you're saying that I did something stupid? Yes, that was stupid. Not the fact that you're running a pizza store with a bunch of gangsters and everybody fucking knows it. Regardless. Other people regardless, pointing it out to me I'm your is, person. is stupid. If I'm your person, regardless of what was going on, you saw me show Todd the pizza shop, tell him that I work there and manage it, and then get in the car and on the phone say, oh, it's owned by a bunch of gangsters? That was fucking stupid. Regardless of what, if I come to you with blood on my hands and tell you I murdered somebody, but I can't tell you what it is or who it is or where they are. Then I'm walking away from you because right, I don't then, want then to be a have, half of the thing. I don't want to just hide a body and not know anything fucking out. Then we have different approaches to what trust and what uh, relationship is. Because I would take a bullet for you and I would put a bullet in somebody's head for you. And I would ask no questions. And if you don't see it that way too, you wouldn't ask think, no questions. You already asked like a million questions. Everybody asks me a million questions. Stop, you stop, think you're stop so nitpicking on the, on the, on the, Stop to nitpicking on these details that don't make any sense and listen to what I'm the actually trying to say. The details that don't make any sense. Listen to what listen I'm to what actually I'm trying, to, trying say. to say. Look past your nose and listen to what I'm trying to say. What People are, are asking me questions. Todd's asking me questions. Who's Johnny hanging out with? Why is he not hanging out with you? Who's he got the shop with? Junior's asking me questions. Bruce is asking me questions. Everybody's asking me fucking questions. People close to you that you think are helping keep stuff are telling Junior things. Then I, so ask don't start this. Ask them why don't they talk to me? Why is nobody talking to me? Because nobody can fucking talk to you because you're so busy and on the phone or they get 30 seconds with you or whatever. Then if the, you know what, how I see things, how I would do it if the shoe was on the other foot. But if every conversation you had is what's Johnny doing? What's this? What's that? About Johnny constantly, go on. I would say he's busy building something. Just like I told you, I would have your back. Okay, so you haven't at any point said, oh, Orton's changed to anybody in the last. I have, to D. Why? Because I Why not? She's just trying to better herself. Usually, usually you're the person I talk to. Of course, I, I, I'm happy for you. Of course, you're bettering yourself. It's just that you're fucking angry at me all the time. That's what I was talking about. It's not anger. It's frustration. And you're, you're not getting it. I'm not. But I, um, but I think I understand now that we have different concepts of what it means to have somebody's back and what it means to trust somebody. You've got a lot of people that have got your back with your new gang. Stop. It's not about this fucking gang. Yes, it is. You've literally flipped up everything for these people. Meanwhile, I can't name one of them. You know, see how frustrating that would be? I told you to give me time. How much time? I don't know. So another blind just lead again. So throw her a slight line so she'll hold on that little bit longer we're, and try and guess what the fuck's happening. We're going around in circles. I think I think we've kind of we've kind of hit a dead end here. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. You, you're not looking past your nose. You've not given me anything more other than I'm wrong and I'm stupid for saying something that somebody else told me. I told you a while ago that regardless of all the problems we had, that you're always going to be my person and that regardless of what goes down, I will always have your back and I will stand by that. I can't exist in a world where the person that's my partner, the person that is supposed to be by my side doesn't, doesn't trust me whatsoever. Doesn't not only trust me whatsoever, but even when I tell you stuff, you go ahead and do something like what you did in the car with Todd in there. That just doesn't work. It just doesn't Todd work. knows you're hanging out with the man. Why is that a I surprise? Don't care. I don't care. I don't care if he knows. I do not care. I don't care who knows. I care the fact then that why you, you were sat there in my car and, and said, said what? that. The pizza shop's run by gangs. Yes. What? Yes. Was the sentence I said. That is an issue for me. Five minutes before you said that, I was showing him the pizza shop and telling him that I worked there. And the day before that, you've started running a shop on Grove Street, which he knows he can't go to as a police officer because all the people that go there constantly and live there are shooting up the cops and he doesn't feel comfortable in coming down. That's his job. I got to do my job. He's got to do his. So you're not seeing it again. We're going around in circles, Autumn. No, we're not going around in fucking circles. You're just not listening. What do you want from me? I wanted honesty. I wanted some truth. I wanted to know what the fuck was going on and why. I'm not getting anything. At all. I'm getting it. You did a stupid thing because you said the truth. That's fucked up. Because you didn't have my back. Like I said, if you need anything, I'll always be there for you. For now, I don't think you're ready for this. I don't I don't think you're able to digest everything, even if I told you. There's nothing to digest. You're not feeding me anything. You so you've turned it on me. to me again. I, I've told you to trust me and wait. If you can't do that, then... then you've told me to trust you and wait, but you can't give me any... Anything. I can. Not even an in not even an ounce of food or an inkling of anything. I have I have told you a lot. I've told you I've told you about No, you told me you had a shop. You didn't tell me any I of the ins and outs and you weren't what gonna are you tell me. About? 
I told you everything. You weren't gonna tell me. I had to figure it out myself like Junior did. Okay. I think we need we need to um go our separate ways for a little bit. There's we're hitting we're hitting a brick road. There's very little I can do right now. There's a lot you could do. You'd rather keep your secret. If you want to. If you don't see that that's what's separating, then call me stupid. Say that I'm just not getting it and I'm not ready to not understand anything. If you want to, if you want to see it that way, then that's that's the way it is. You already told me if I don't like it, I know where to go. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I don't know. I don't know what else we can talk about. Thank you guys for all the falls. I, I I'll get I'll get to chat. I'll get to chat. Just. Bro, this is gonna be the longest car ride. I'm gonna give her the car. I'm gonna give her the car and just call D for him to pick me up. Cooling things off, thank you. The long walk back. Oh no. They've been through so much, these two. But she just she doesn't trust him. I want you to take the car. Just let me know. Let me know where you're um, where you park it. Why? Stop even about this. Can you just take the car? Why? Because I want to walk. Well walk then. Where are you going? Don't I? Okay, Adam. I I I'm I'm running out of options. Genuinely. I don't know where I'm going. You just said you want to go for a walk. Why, when I'm just as vague as you, is that a problem? I just want you to take the car and get to a safe place. I'll figure shit out. I'll get a lift. That was tense. <laughs> uh, let's see who hit the follows. Let's scroll up a little bit in chat. 